Hi. Right, well, I think we all in the UK realise that uh, there's been lots of press about them adding more ethanol to our petrol. Now, uh, you might be thinking, well, what does this mean for me? Well, if you've got something like this, uh, this is a modern mower, it's not old. Um, however, um, lots of parts in these mowers are not made from the best quality materials. Everything is done to a price. Uh, this is not actually a carburetor for one of those, but it is a sample of the type of carburetor. Now, the, the important thing is, this material here is what I used to call pot metal. That means they used to chuck anything they like into it and it makes a carburetor. Jolly good. But uh, with the bioethanol that's really good for the planet, um, when you're using it in garden machinery, it has two big disadvantages. Uh, now the most important one is it's hydroscopic and what that means is if you leave it laying around anywhere and it's open to the elements for example inside a carburetor or inside your lawnmower fuel tank and these do have breathers right uh, okay you do have some pressurized systems in some two strokes it will gather in the water from the atmosphere over the winter and what that will mean is inside that carburetor bowl and inside the carburetor all that petrol is gathering in moisture and that causes corrosion so when you come to start it in the spring and you want to use it you'll find it won't start now that'll be for two reasons one the whole fuel has degraded to such a point that it's absolutely useless um, you can spray easy start in as much as you like and it's not really going to help matters very much um, because basically everything in there that cheap pot metal has corroded it's made a gunge, it's blocked up the jets it might have even be so bad you have to buy a new carburetor uh, so you might say oh we can put some fuel fit in it from Briggs & Stratton who makes this engine Yes, that's a jolly good idea, and it does help. It will reduce, but not stop, the corrosion, right? Um, you will, even if you put this in, you should not... Uh, I'll start that again. If Even if you put this in, right, you will get corrosion. So you will not be able to start the engine come spring. So my recommendations are for any garden equipment that uses fuel empty all the fuel out of it completely because you're going to get corrosion so empty it start it up make sure all the fuels out of it so you're draw you're storing it completely dry if you don't do this you're in for a big repair bill and the government will not pay for it. Well, there you have it, guys. Bioethanol. Good for the planet. Bad for your garden equipment.